story game. Oh my one. god, it's happening. I didn't think it would happen. But here I, we are. I can't believe it. And the tech day is already getting started up. So one thing you can do. Oh, oh Wizzy drops that one. Yeah, one thing you can do is you can kind of try to DI off stage or get the slide off mm -hmm. to kind of cut the, the tech chase short. But um, super important versus Falcon, also really important versus Sheik, right? Yeah, for sure. And then you can potentially do like an invincible oh, ledge that? Nap, that something was... like that. Oh, Wizzy went wanted to do a Lord Stomp right there, but yeah, she ran off stage before mm -hmm. he could um, short hop. Right. Um, so it, it just kind of looked like he ran off stage and did a downer, which was not very good, but you know. Really unfortunate. Ooh, rare flash of Wizzy going for a read. I think that's actually something that Wizzy's been doing a lot more recently, and I think it's extra strong when you're anticipating someone to just continue to react in tech chase, right? Yeah, 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 100%. I mean, Moki missed that tech probably thinking, okay, now I'm going to try to SDI, like, if there's a jab reset, and up there killing Falcon at 95, that is crazy beans. That's the strength of Yoshi's story, right? You're going to get that low, low KO on... Uh from the top, off the top, rather. That's right. By the way, the last time these two played was at Riptide 2023, and it went to Wizrobe 3-2. Ooh, that was pretty recent. Very recent. Oh, oh. Drops up. Because when I arrive. And I mean, that's actually pretty hard to do and survive on Yoshi's. You have to be pretty frame perfect, I think. Yeah, there's a, yeah, if you're just a little bit off, then you just fall off the bottom. Yeah, the, the blast zone's like right there. So I I think it's pretty hard. Mm -hmm. TBH. No, I agree. I agree. TBH 11. Hashtag. Oh. Hashtag TBH11. You know, Scar Jump there actually would have been a really nice option. I have agreed. Scar Jump into up air against the uh, the Fox up B as it's coming coming back onto stage. I think no jump. jump. No jump. Oh, nice but wall jump. Was he new? One more wall jump attempt. Nice. I like. Did you see the smash DI off that back air? The first one? Yeah, that was pretty wild. Because I don't think many other people survived that back air on Yoshi's in particular. I mean, Yoshi's is that small of a stage, but yeah, Wizzy's got some, some cracked, uh, cracked guy. Oh, for sure. Oh, oh great what? up air! Up air. Oh, yeah, calling out Wizzy short off, right? Yeah. Jeez Louise. Yeah, getting like underneath it somehow, and it's a huge open up. Because you have Falcon in the air as well, right? Yeah. Wow, Moki is playing super good right now. Walling Wizzy out. Wizzy yeah. trying to nair back into the center. I actually really like the little dash dance in center stage from Moki. Just kind of like, hey, I, I have the lead. I have the percent. I ha I'm going to keep this position, right? Because like a knee at 60% in the middle of the stage will still kind of KO Fox in a lot of positions. Or like a stomp into knee will KO you at like 63%. So if you got the positional advantage, just kind of keep it going. So right. I like that for Moki. I'm curious, what up? I actually wonder, I guess Moki's probably the higher seed this event, right? Moki was gonna... 10 seed, I believe. Moki was, t okay, okay. Wow. Yeah, I mean, this is um, <laughs> crazy, uh, crazy that Moki, this is, I mean, this is not even, I think, for, for, for top eight. This is like. This is for top 24. Yeah, that, that is bonkers that these two are playing. I mean, these are two, like, these are two people that are at, that are at the top echelon of Super Smash Brothers Melee. They've either won majors or they're just about due for a tournament win. Yeah, players. That, I mean, Moki got like top three at Genesis. Right. Ooh. These, two, these two are playing. Is this even inside top twenty-four? Or this is four top twenty-four. This is four top twenty-four. That Wait. is bonkers. That makes no sense to my puny pea brain. That's just the level of play we're at at the Big House Eleven, Tov. That players have to fight tooth and nail just to even make it a top 24 winner side. Yeah, unbelievable. Players of this caliber. Okay, Wizzy right now. Trying to keep the tech. Goes for, so goes for fourth throw right there, knowing that Moki was setting up for a slide off. That's where you gotta mix up your throw sometimes. I love the option coverage that Wizrobe has during the edge guarding, right? Kind of just throws out that light knee, kind of just throws out that up air that covers so much in front of the ledge. And then you have time to like jump back if they don't do something quickly. Yeah, yeah. You can continue the edge guard on stage with like a back air. It's really nice. Yeah, I've always been really impressed with Wizzy's option coverage off the stage. Um, he'll also, you know, he'll grab ledge to try to back air your up B, but then if you side B, he just wave lands on the stage and grabs you out of the, the end of your side B. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. He's got a lot of layers to his edge guard uh, flow chart. Definitely. And it, it's never putting him in a bad position either. I think it's like the real strength of it. Because if he messes up, he's usually back on stage and like, okay, you reset back to neutral, you drop the edge guard, as opposed to like a huge reversal off stage, you know? Right, right. Oh, oh, it gets that softy up air. Is this gonna be a kill? See up that? air, oh, no. That's that up air I'm talking about. It just covers so much space in front of the stage. I love it. Yeah, it's really hard to find an angle that goes around that, right? If you're Moki. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. And Moki right now, pretty big deficit here on Battlefield. Gotta clean up this edge guard, yep. Just go out there when you see the Falcon. 
recovering like that. Yeah, keeps it pretty simple. Uh, and Moki right now, laser landing the side platform, but... Oh, missing the gentleman, but not getting punished there. Yeah, I mean, at least there's some hitboxes that those rapid jabs provide. Oh, oh wow. And, uh, actually, a little bit shocked that Stomp didn't uh, hit because Moki did miss that tech. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but was he not actually in range? Falcon does not have that much grab range to, to, to the front. I was a little bit worried about that, actually, when he was crouching like that. Oh, wow. they're not going to kill. Big this combo, though. Big combo. Can Moki clean up the stock without taking too, too much more percent? Because it is doable. Yeah. Uh, oh. Ooh, forward throw there is a really nice oh. mix up. Oh my god, oh, and the up, he actually up beats to the right. Genius. Great decision making from Wizzy. That's actually the kind of play that I expect more out of, of, like a, of a nun or a yeah. soul, right? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that's a very nun esque play, actually. Especially with the, that neutral air. The full jump out there neutral air reaches just a little bit further than all of other uh, Falcon's other moves. And so when you're up in stocks, it's actually a really nice option to. Uh -huh. To secure the KO even at the stock, cost of your own stock, but that upy afterwards was a nice little, nice little coverage. Yeah, very impressive stuff. Oh, Wizzy is so good out of the corner with those stomps, those Lord stomps. Mm -hmm. So crazy, because it feels like, oh, okay, I have, I have Falcon in the corner. What is, what is Falcon really gonna do? And then just tiny, does like the tiniest little dash away, right into getting that stomp. Oh, Ooh, great angle for Moki. Good. Covering that, uh, oh my, that, that's the one thing about Fountain though, right? Like that side, yeah, I don't think Wizzy quite realized how, how deep into the stage Moki's gonna be able to go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love that little jump as well, not getting hit by the side B, and then punishing on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Moki now. Both of them playing pretty well, I would say. Yeah, it definitely, definitely feels like it. Nothing yeah. like crazy out of the ordinary from either of them so far. As as I, I, I just feel like the defense has been really solid from both of them. Mm -hmm. And Wiz, Wizzy right now, I'm loving these little weights he's doing in neutral, like either standing there or crouching there, or just kind of... Uh... Okay, DI away Ooh. on that second one was crucial. Draw back air, yeah, you know it. Nice, that's great coverage there. I like the low angle forward tilt too to set up for that position. Can Moki clean this up? Okay. You know, I'm really what I'm really liking from Wizzy right now is a lot of the time with Falcon, um, you know, FOD is kind of the bane of Falcon sometimes because the opponent can play under the side platform and make it kind of hard for Falcon approach. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you're watching, Wizzy's doing a lot of that. Wizzy's actually hanging out under the side platforms and actually making it, kind of turning the tables on this Fox. The thing about the stage that Falcon has is Stomp does so well when the platforms are lower like mm -hmm. that. And we see a lot of Stomp happening on either of the corners from Wizzy. Because it does hit a lot of that platform as well. Yeah, deep below, mm -hmm. deep below the side platform. Like that higher hitbox of the stomp is super good underneath the platforms. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 that got weird. That got real weird. Okay, Wizzy there missing the uh, crouch tech chase. A little bit characteristic. Yeah, that's another weird uh, air dodge from, from Wizzy. Yeah, I think maybe not realizing the slide up was happening at that particular moment and tried to like maybe tech it instead. Yeah, great DI on that stomp. You don't see stomps DI'd like that very often. No hit confirm into the knee though. That up air knee was ready. Yeah, absolutely. Potentially there. Okay, up throw. Ooh, big up tilt for Moki right now. Wow, looking for some kind of reverse forwarder. Uh, Moki mm -hmm. maybe playing with his foot a little bit, but also hoping to catch a jump. So, I, you know, I do respect it. Yeah. I will say this particular game, there are there, there are a lot more like little flubs that I'm noticing from both of them, right? Like kind of just odd situations where they're both kind of playing on the back foot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and that side platform gonna save Wizzy from the up smash, but for how long? Oh, great little drift back to avoid both the shine and the back air, but Moki will clean it up. Oh, an up smash. A little bit of a lead for Moki. Just a hair, but I mean, if you can get that knockdown, Wow, what a call from Wizzy playing out of the corner with that Lord Stomp yet again. That Stomp is so good. It's gotten Wizzy so many stocks. Okay, that's that distance that Wizzy has been trying to threaten with like a full jump drift all the way in neutral air. Oh, that just might be it. No, Wizzy, why was it a side B of all things? It was low enough to where I feel like, you know, Moki still probably had the edge guard with like a shine or something like that, you know, with no jump, but that. Yeah, that hurts if you're Wizzy. That was a, you know... And a huge pop-off for Moki. It's too. actually pretty hard to get a Shine Kill there a lot of time because typically what happens is the Falcon can kind of rinse and repeat the upbeat two or three times. And each of those times they can kind of mix up, am I going to drift all the way out or kind of drift in the stage and do like a, a kind of a, you know, like a drift slash timing mix up. 
Um, but yeah, Wizzy didn't get to rinse and repeat it at all. He, he flew so far down from just that first shine. Did that, he have his um, jump too? He did not have his jump, right? Uh, he didn't because he was getting yeah. shined out of Uppy. Yeah, so, so I don't think he had his jump. Yeah, but you know, normally you can you can at least make it a little bit harder for the fogs. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what uh what Moki's got here on the recovery. Ooh, back air. Wizzy missed his L caps or something there. That definitely could have been something else. Maybe a turnaround forward tilt. Man, that could have been a huge sock actually on the left side. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh -huh. oh the, the little slide off. Uh oh, and another. No, the that side, double. side B here. Just grab ledge and oh. another shine just for good measure. A little bit of uh, you know. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> just let. Oh, I want to say BM, but just letting him know. I think I think Moki. I think that's just in Moki's blood. Mm -hmm. I think it's just honestly like muscle memory at this point. That's right. <laughs> okay, this is. I mean, Moki is running away with this game right now. Wizzy had some big opportunities, but Moki's just doing more with his. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of crazy, actually. Okay, a that's little, a... a little bit. Yeah. There's that back air is where we're talking about. Yeah, that's gonna cover everything. Pretty hard to really do anything off that. Mm -hmm. Well, what a neutral error from Wizzy. You gotta hit this Texas, but he doesn't. Yeah. Rare miss actually from Wizzy, because that was a huge opening. Yeah, absolutely. And exactly what he needed again. Okay, this time, I mean, this time Moki is off stage, but edge guard a little late on that four kill. Hard to cover everything there, I guess. Yeah, and also you wanted like the lower angle four tilt in oh. that particular position. Yo, that, for Moki to mash out after only one pummel at 55? Insane. I mean, that's. Huge. I think that's really hard to do. Okay. Goes into down. This is such a big conversion. And also, the, the dash attack oh there is a nice God. little tech trap. Down smash? Okay, oh just side. Yeah, even better. Yeah, even better. Don't even give the opportunity to tech, right? Because right. Wiz is the kind of person who will uh, frequently like, hit that tech. Yeah, like SDI in and then tech. Okay. Not oh grabbing ledge there. Okay. Yeah, Moki with so, so much bonus damage right now, bitch. Yeah, this is Moki's. It, it might be just 3-1 right now. I, I didn't realize how decisive this, this game four has been for Moki. I mean, honestly, it's just a lot of missed punishes, I yeah. would say, from Wizzy, kind of. But, but also, also huge punishes, I think, from Moki's end. 100%. Tries to get the DI where you can get the tech on the right side there. Barely misses. I get it. Actually, there was no barrel. There's no barrel. I, don't know, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, wow, dude. Bring Wizzy. air dodge out. You're right. Was he doing everything he can to, to make this tricky for Moki? But the problem is Moki keeps getting the next hit. Oh my oh, God! Is that just gonna be it? It is at the top to close it out. Three one. Moki advancing in the top twenty four. I mean, how, with how much of a nail biter that FOD game was, I thought we were in for a much closer game. But Moki off the hit was crazy, and and we we're talking about the tech chase, right? I think there was.